Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. I'm Dustin, and today I'm going to show you guys the books I plan on sending to CGC in my next shipment and the grades that I anticipate on getting back. Stay tuned. Now you guys know there's a few things that I'm super passionate about, one of them being the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So for this shipment, I'm going to be doing an all turtles run to CGC. Uh, going to be uh, some from the same runs and some that are a little different, but regardless, they're all turtles and they're all worthy in my eyes of being sent to CGC. Uh, turtles are blowing up right now. They're getting really hot and I got all these books pre-turtle hotness, pre-turtle madness, and uh, I, I'm really happy with the prices I paid for them. And uh, I'm excited to get on to CGC finally, so let's take a look at what I'm sending. First off, I do not have a first print or a second print or even a third print of the original number one featuring that original artwork that is just beautiful. Uh, it, it's absolutely uh, something that is, is timeless. But I have something super close being the Shattered variant for issue number one. Uh, this just came out recently. And they are oversized, and it does feature that iconic artwork from Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Wonderful cover. Um, it is the shattered version. But, I mean, from afar, I mean, if I do this, you can't even really tell that, it, that it's not an original, right? Uh, it's really cool, though. I, I really like it. And uh, this thing is brand spanking new. Uh, never read it or anything like that. And uh, I anticipate this on hitting a 9.8. We'll see, right? Next, uh, something much more recent as well. This is the ash can for the last Ronin. Uh, this is something that has gotten hot. And uh, I honestly don't even think this book has peaked yet or even really started to actually uh, to get, get as hot as I think it has a potential to long, long term uh, down the road. Not why I picked it up. I'm a Turtles fan. The reason I picked this up uh, is because I just look at this as being now uh, one of those absolute collector's items for a Turtles fan because uh, after this was put out, they, they pushed the date back for release of issue number one, changed the artist, changed the artwork. So this is like a little gem now. This is the only thing uh, that, that is going to have the original artwork uh, showing the original vision for this story. Uh, so to me, that makes it a, a really, really cool collector's item. And my biggest reason for getting this slabbed is just just no good way to take care of this uh, with a bag and board. Uh, right now, I've got it on a cardboard back, uh, comic book bag and board type deal. And I just kind of taped a magazine bag loosely, uh, you know, to tr just try to give it a little bit better look. But, uh, you know, over time, this is not going to hold. It's not going to do so. Uh, I definitely think the best thing to do is go ahead and get this pressed and send it off to CGC. I also anticipate a 9.8 on this. Uh, as of me recording this video, there are no 9.8s on the census. So, how cool would it be for me to be able to get the first one? Pretty cool. Could there possibly be one hit between this video and the time mine gets uh, graded? Probably. But... Regardless, uh, I think this can hit a 9.8 with a with a nice press job. Uh, it is very, very good condition. It's very clean. No color breaks anywhere. And it's an awesome, awesome piece to have. Uh, something I think any turtle collector is going to definitely want in their collection. Now this book right here is something that has uh, both monetary value and it also has sentimental value to me. Uh, it is Raphael number one. Now, as I said earlier, everything Turtles is getting hot, especially from that original Mirage Studios run. However, Raphael, Casey Jones, this is Casey Jones's first appearance. My two favorite characters in the Turtles, anything. I mean, movies, games, figures, comics. If it has to do with Turtles, these are my guys. And uh, I was super, super psyched to be able to have this uh, my brother Nick, the other part of Two Brothers Comics, he actually got me this for my birthday last year. Now, I will tell you, this, this is probably going to come back with a, a green label or whatever. Um, I think now you can almost you, you can request a blue label if you have a signature inside that's not verified, and they'll just put it on the label. 
Um, I'm gonna look into that. I'd rather, of course, I'd rather have a blue label. Um, honestly, I think this would look cool with a red label. It's pretty cool though. It does have the signature inside with the uh, iconic Kevin Eastman turtle head sketch. And uh, this thing's not bad. I I'm thinking this is gonna get somewhere between an 885. Uh, it does have those very, very popular to see uh, spine ticks up and down that black spine. Uh, but all in all, it's a really, really nice shaped book. All the corners look really, really, really good. I mean, they're, they're sharp corners. Uh, it's not a bad condition book at all. But uh, I definitely want to get it in a slab because, uh, you know, these older Mirage Studios books, they're, they're, they're kind of hard to keep in, in great condition uh, because of their size, the awkwardness, and uh, the, the material they were made out of at the time. Uh, all these books were pretty low print run at that time. And, uh, you know, they, they weren't some big, huge, fancy organization at the time when they were printing some of these. So, uh, I just, I think it's a cool piece of history. Again, first appearance of one of my absolute favorite characters in comic books, period. And also featuring my other favorite character. So, uh, definitely something I thought that I wanted to send to CGC. Now, these next two are going to be the lowest numbered books I have from the original Turtles series. Uh, I'm going to show this one off first. This is the lowest number I have. This is a first print of issue number three, the first appearance of the the party bus, the party van. Um, it's the first appearance and it's a really awesome cover. You have the Laird's photo in the background and I mean you got Turtles and you got April O'Neil there on the cover in the van. It's a really cool Cool issue. Uh, if you've ever read this one, it, it's pretty funny. It's got some humor to it. And uh, actually, one of those few books that you see in comics where the cover actually has a lot to do with the story. Uh, this is also in fantastic shape. And I actually grabbed this earlier this year. I think I paid like 75 bucks for it. I uh, had a guy, uh, I can't even remember who it is. If you're watching, I apologize. Uh, but I do appreciate you. Um, I want to, I don't even want to say who I think it is, but I, I, one of our subscribers on Instagram reached out and asked me if I wanted to purchase it. I said, absolutely 75 bucks. And I think this is going to reach at least a 9.0, maybe a 9.2 or 4, 9.0 at the very, very least though. Uh, definitely, definitely a very, very high grade book here. That is not the Mylar effect. Uh, no spine ticks that I can tell. Maybe I thought I saw one. Yeah, I can see one small, tiny one. Maybe. I mean, it is minuscule. Maybe they'll miss it. <laughs> they've missed They've missed out on bigger things when they've graded books for me and sent them back. <clears throat> Bad labels and stuff. But uh, yeah, Turtles number three, man. Absolutely, definitely another one that I think is worthy of sending in. And this is the second lowest number book I have. And probably outside of my Raphael number one, this is probably my absolute favorite Turtles book I have. And it's an iconic cover. It is the TMNT issue number four. A uh, couple of cool things about this book. Uh, this was the last of the magazine style oversized printing issues that they had in this run. Um, so after this, you would get more of a conventional size comic book. Uh, also, if, you, if you've ever noticed, this artwork here on the cover has been used over and over for so many things. Uh, video games, t-shirts, hats stickers man this this image right here has been used over and over and over and just like the uh the, the first three this is also a wraparound cover uh number three as well is a wraparound cover uh Raphael is kind of a wraparound cover but uh it was there's something cool they did with these books uh one two three four uh i, I don't know I've, I've never really looked into it but i'm pretty sure the majority of the Mirage Studios, now that I think about it, are wraparound covers. Uh, but these magazine size, these oversized books with the wraparound cover and the artwork is just, it's its awesome, man. I love it. And again, very, very high grade book. And I'll tell you what I gave for this book. Um, I got this book way, way earlier this year, like sometime right around after Christmas. And, uh, this book in, in 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 really high grade it goes for a pretty penny now uh, i traded the house of x and powers of x connecting covers for issue number ones of both issues is what i traded for this book and i intend on this book i i, I really really could see this book hitting a nine six 
nine six, maybe maybe a nine four, nine six. Um, but I mean, I really, really think it could hit that high. I absolutely do. Uh, Nick has seen it. He's evaluated it. He agreed. I mean, this thing is absolutely impeccable shape uh, for a white cover too, especially. I mean, it is so clean, very, very well kept. Uh, before I got it, and of course, since I've had it. Uh, if you'll notice up here beh uh, behind me above my head, the Funko Pops there is usually where this sits because um, I'm so proud to have it. I just, I love it. Uh, outside of number one, like this was the one for me that I was just like, man, I really want that one. So I'm doing pretty good on my turtle run right now. Of course, number two is going to be the next one I try to tackle and that one just keeps climbing and keeps climbing. So I'm not sure how long it'll take me, but maybe one day I'll get there. Uh, but, you know, I, I love the first prints. That's my thing. I want the first prints. Who doesn't want the first prints, right? Uh, so this is a first print. Number three is a first print. Raphael's a first print. And uh, so when I get my number two, man, I really want to get a first print. But uh, so what do you guys think about the books I'm sending to CG? Surprise! Now, originally, that was supposed to be the end of the video. At the time I recorded this, uh, that was all the books I was putting into this shipment to send off to CGC. I was good with it. I was excited about it. However, a couple of days later, there was something new that entered my collection that absolutely 100% positively had to get into the box to go out to CGC. What was that book? Man, it's the biggest one out of everything in this box. And the most unexpected, it just kind of fell into my lap. I had to move some stuff around and make some things happen to get it. TMNT issue number two. This is a first print copy and it is so, so high grade. Uh, so this will also be going into uh, the shipment to CGC. You can see there, look at the spine beautiful beautiful spine not one color break anywhere on there uh, this white down here that is part of the art because it is a wraparound cover the corners are deadly deadly because they're so sharp uh, this is a beautiful book absolutely beautiful book uh, this now has become the book I am absolutely most excited about seeing what it hits in uh, when I get it back from CGC so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you only kind of liked it, you still kind of liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this haul. What book are you most excited to see what it came back as? Let me know, do you have any of these books? Do you have them graded? Just drop us a comment and let us know something. Let us know something. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do that on your way out. Thank you guys so much for being the absolute number one best part of Two Brothers Comics. And as always, collect your way.